minus 15, 10, 
The stage is equipped for total burn duration of about 750 seconds. The cryogenic stage is more complex due to the use of propellant at extreme low temperature and the associated thermal and material problems compared to solid or earth storable liquid propellant system. Transportation and handling of the cryofluid are extremely complex in nature. The cryogenic stage provides much more energy in terms of thrust for every kilogram of fuel burnt and hence is more efficient, being the first of its kind at ISRO. Above the cryogenic stage, there is a vehicle equipment bay, which is the brain of GSLV. It houses the electronic systems like onboard processors, navigation systems, control systems, guidance system, telemetry system, telecommand systems, etc. Above the vehicle equipment bay structure, the spacecraft is mated using a payload adapter. GSET-1, an experimental communication satellite weighing about 1530 kgs, will be used to prove new spacecraft elements like 10 Newton reaction control thrusters, fast recovery star sensors and heat pipe radiator panels to validate them before using them in the ISRO operational satellites like IRS and INSETS. GSLV consists of hundreds of subsystems which are designed, manufactured, tested and qualified before integration for launch. Most of the vehicle hardware are manufactured by Indian industries. All the mission related key personnel assemble together in a meeting called Mission Readiness Review Meeting where the readiness of the vehicle, satellite, launch pad facilities and ground stations are reviewed and an exact date and time for the launch are fixed. It is interesting to know that an entire event of launch may be a highly computerized one in all its operations. Yet, the last hour decisions are still to be made by the human mind.